Hello everybody and welcome back to a new Space Engineers video. Really quickly guys, I wanted to make um, a video on a couple tips that you can employ today in your building to try and improve quickly. Um, these are some tips that you may already know, but you may not realise to the extent they can be used. So here's an example um, I've shown on the channel before. This is the first ship I published, the Ingot class freighter. Um, looks absolutely horrendous in in modern day se i think we can all agree um i was quite proud of it at the time though so i'm going to show you how I, how I went from this to some of these here so my uh more recent creations so you got the rampage class corvette quite happy with this one um the eridanus freighter amethyst miner stargazer transport um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you how I go about improving building. Um, and there are two main tips, to be fair. I mean, there's a lot of different ways that you get better at building. Um, and speaking with fellow builders as well, and just, you know, seeing how they got better as well. The main two ways I've seen uh, when I talk about this video. So, uh, the first way is something that... It's pretty obvious, but it's building with other people, right? So let's say you you build with a friend, right? And you both know, um, just real quick, actually, before I continue with this video, if you are just looking for, like, purely functional stuff, this isn't the video for you. Right? I'm not talking about function here. That, that No, we're, talk we're talking about making a balanced ship which looks good but actually does the job. I mean, I don't care how many fucking cargo containers your freighter has if it looks like something that just fell off the back of a dumpster i don't want to i don't want to be using it right i want something that's balanced with aesthetics and um its capabilities like the aerodynamics here which has got three cargo containers yes you can make a ship this big with six no i don't give a fuck i want it to look decent as well and i think a lot of people especially if you watch this channel want it to look decent as well just to speak unfiltered so I'm in a bit of a rush because I'm sweating my balls off here. Uh, but tip number one is to play with other people. Now, so let's say you play with one other person and you both know some super secret way of doing Greeble. You know, like a little, little trick, like you can do this little ruts as, as turret mounts, right? You build together on a project, so you both work on the same ship and you learn each other's little secret. And then you both know two little ways you can add some, some detail to your ship. You play with someone who knows three ways you can add, you know, details to your ship. Then you come out of it both knowing five ways of how you, you, you know what I mean? And it just stacks and you see how different people do things. You see how different people have evolved styles, how they go about, you know, building holes in or, or painting, coloring, the same as painting or like, you know, spaced armor, how they would break up a flat surface, how they do an engine bay, how they sort out conveyor systems. And you can see what other people are doing and learn from that and then twist it into your own style. Which neatly slides into um, number two. So, another big way you can do it is find a creator that you like, and this is going to sound obvious, and just put some ships in the world while you're building. So, I'll give you an example. I built the Garenta class freighter. This is one of the TFK Civ ships I built. And I think it's quite a pretty ship. Um, I like the way it's greebled. I think it looks like it fits into the economy world etc etc when I was building this what I did was I spawned some basically created a mood board right so I'd spawn in some god I can't remember what it's called now uh, this is uh, this this is bad isn't it I can't remember the name TT420 uh, <laughs> Oh god, it's been a minute. Yeah, so I'd spawn, um, and then B980, I'd spawn a couple of the economy ships in. And maybe you can see where, where I've drawn inspiration from. So we've got the, the rear landing pad, like the B60. We've got um, these little fins on the back of the, the large rear thruster, like the B60. Um, I've got, I'm trying to think what else I've got here. Do, 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 do. It's just bits and bobs you pull. So there are these little break-up points that Aragath puts between the cargo containers. I did slightly different and used like the round blocks. Mind you, I didn't do it between there. 
Um, obviously the economy style entrance with these sloped blocks. Again, you can see exactly here. Now, a lot of people will go, are just going to be like, oh, it's copying. But let's just put these two next to each other here. They don't look anything alike. They look literally nothing alike. The cargo containers are in different places. They're both, yes, they're both cock and ball designs. And they have a rear landing pad. But that's about it. This actually has more cargo containers. Just because you're taking inspiration and maybe, you know, implementing a couple similar design features, it's not copying, it's just building out your skill set. There are only so many ways you can build a fucking doorway, and if you think that this is a good way to build a doorway, build the doorway like that. And then, as you continue to do it, you will eventually develop, you know, your own ways of, of building a doorway. It's, I'm talking about a doorway here, but it could be anything, right? So, an antenna array. Like, you know, you, you might copy this at first because this is one hell of an antenna array. But eventually, you might come up with something slightly different. You know, your own version. So, this isn't even... I mean, it's similar with the blast doors, but that's about it. Right, it's changed over time. So, just having these in your world, just to be like... Basically, just build, and then you get to a point where you're like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do with the door, uh, you know, I'm not really sure how to build it into the side of the hull here. Okay, how's Aragath done it, or how's whoever I'm trying to learn from? How have they done it? And have a look at it, be like, right, they've done it this way. And then build that onto your ship, and you can see it's not exactly the same, because they've got different blocks. And then you might, you know, build it in differently, but it just gives you a quick guide. And over time, you'll learn these different tricks and ways that different builders use to make things flow a bit more seamlessly. Um, a big one being colour and greeble. And you'll just have them in your back pocket. And you won't need to spawn ships in anymore. You'll just have knowledge and ideas. Whenever you're building and you see like a particular angle or something. Like right now, I built this ages ago, but just looking at this here, it just upsets me, right? If, if I was building it now, I would want this to look a bit more full, right? A bit more stable, and I'd probably do something different if I could find the paint gun. I'd probably do something different in terms of... What colour was I using? Yeah. I'd probably build the antenna in differently, is what I'm trying to get to, right? I don't know exactly what I'd do. I mean, I don't know. I'd, I'd make it look a bit more robust than it was, because it looked a bit sort of pokey-outy. And I may have even... I, mean, I don't particularly like the way I've gone about that up there either. I'm just giving you examples here. I've not, not got this set up right at all. But I may, I may have tried something different. Um... Just sort of brainstorming here. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, there we go. So I may have tr I may have tried something different with the antenna and tried to embed it differently. And I'm not a fan of how this bounces like that. But that just, like I said, that just comes with time. So when I built this, I was like, oh, it's fantastic. But now looking back at it, however many years or months it's been, there's there's things I'd change, right? Um. So yeah, just I'd recommend building ships with people so working with as many people as possible um you know learn their design styles see how they're doing things differently a great way to do this is just get your boys in a discord chat you know you can do it on my discord server if you wish um and just do like a build challenge like you've seen on the channel just you know all build something and just have a look at how everyone's done things differently or another fun one is do a build challenge say there's four of you you all start with the same frame for a ship right use a pre-existing frame like, I don't know, a fucking... Right, I, I don't know, right. The, there you go, right. The, the, that, that's, that's your ship frame, right? Ma imagine it's 3D. You, <laughs> you all start with this. You work on it for 30 minutes, and then you pass it around clockwise. Work on it for 30 minutes, 
pass it around how, however many times to the number of players you've got and you'll see how you each have tackled the different stages differently and you can get ideas. Ideally you want to be playing with people or building with people who you see as better builders than yourself but I mean you could just build with anyone really. Just just building in general is like working out a muscle. You just get better and you'll find your own niche. Um, yeah and then the final thing, it's not really a tip, but don't be afraid to publish stuff. There are always going to be people on the workshop who are going to say you know, say whatever about your ships. I mean, I can't even tell you how many times people have said stuff about my ships. At the end of the day, it does. Who cares if they're not whoever you're trying to, you know, take inspiration from, or if their builds aren't better than yours? Then I wouldn't even pay any heed. I'd just listen to constructive crit criticism and anyone who starts whinging about how their ships got more guns and how it would beat it in a PvP fight, scrunch it up, throw it in the bin. Those are my quick tips for building guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you have any questions or queries leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you when I can. Uh, if you want to try and you know join a server, I recommend not to plug my own server but join my discord server, there's a creations tab in there, we've got lots and lots of talented builders in there, um, I'm sure they'll give you some, some feedback on your work and maybe even help you out with building. Um, yeah. Please like, comment, subscribe to support the channel. Consider supporting me financially as well if you're able to. And take care, everybody.